Right now, 700,000 Americans are suffering from kidney disease, and another 100,000 are on a wait list for a transplant. But one doctor may be on the brink of a medical breakthrough. He says he has created the world's first functioning artificial kidney. Dr. William Fissel at Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville manufactured an artificial transplant kidney, which would eliminate the need for patients to wait for a human donor. And it was made using primarily cell phone technology and plastics. Dr. Fissel says he has dedicated his career to finding a solution. We worked through the engineering challenges of blood biocompatibility and clotting and the surgical techniques and so on to the point where now we have an implantable filter. Cheryl Preheim is in the newsroom with 11 Alive medical correspondent Dr. Sujatha Reddy with more. This is an understatement to say this is significant news with 100,000 people on the transplant list for a kidney as we speak. Yes, and it's amazing. This is really groundbreaking technology and it should give people a lot of hope because a lot of people actually die while on dialysis waiting for their kidney transplant because we have way more people waiting for a kidney than we do have donors. We see this medical breakthrough now. How, give me an idea of a time frame when we could actually see this in an operating room and helping take someone. So the researchers in the segment that we just saw are saying that they're gonna start human clinical trials in about a year and they're hoping in about five to maybe actually be putting in these implantable kidneys into people. So very exciting. But I think this is a good time for us to talk to people about kidney disease. Right, a lot of people may have it and not even realize it and you wanna catch it in early stages, not late stages. What are some of the symptoms? You nailed it, exactly right. So early on there can be no symptoms like you said. So the best way to figure it out is to know your risk factors. Do you have other diseases that make you more likely to have this? And go get a simple checkup. Your doctor will do blood tests to see how well your kidneys are working. But as things progress, you can get things like nausea, vomiting, you can feel tired. People may feel like they're not urinating enough, like they're not going to the bathroom enough. Mm -hmm. And you may start to see swelling in your feet and ankles, and then eventually you may even get short of breath, because without your kidneys, you can't filter the toxins out of your blood or filter the fluid out of your body. So you start to swell. That's such an important one to bring up because most of us feel tired on a regular basis and just <laughs> blow it off like it's no big deal. But if it's persistent, you really need to talk to a doctor. Get a checkup. It All always right. is in your best interest. Dr. Reddy, thank you. Thank you.